students in this video we are going to learn the basic concept about the process of diffusion diffusion see first of all the statement of diffusion the process of spreading of molecules from one place to another place the process of spreading of molecules from one place to another place is called diffusion the word diffusion is came from a latin name diffusa the meaning of diffusa is spreading moving from one place to another place in their view that it means in the name of the latin there is a migration is there from one place to another place the migration of the people migration of the birds migration of certain races from one area to another area for that purpose they used the word diffusa the word diffusa means migration movement from one place to another place for that purpose we may have different kinds of activities now we are going to study the properties of process of diffusion in the solids with an activity for that activity we required a round battery flask water is required potassium permanganate is required instead of this uh, potassium permanganate came and before we can use copper sulfate if the copper sulfate is not there we can use simply ink also whatever it may be we can use and we can study the properties of diffusion in solids let us do that activity now to do this activity i'm going to take some water in a round bottomed flask i'll pour the water up to the neck of the round bottomed flask now you already know this is called as a spatula by using the spatula transfer some amount of the potassium permanganate into the water some quantity of the potassium permanganate into the water we carefully how the potassium permanganate color is diffuses see here we can understand how the color of the potassium permanganate is diffusing see how beautifully it is moving from top to bottom you can understand clearly means there is a movement of the molecules of the potassium permanganate from top to bottom this is simply we can understand the process of diffusion even inside of the water also we can understand the procedure or otherwise movement of the potassium permanganate color which is violet in color purple in a dark color it is moving what does it mean there is a process of movement of the potassium permanganate solid into the liquid this means we can understand the movement of or otherwise the diffusion of potassium permanganate that is nothing but solid into the liquid let us see the diffusion in gases for that example purpose any one of your friend applied a perfume whenever he used to sit in the corner of the room throughout the room after certain time we are going to take that smell whatever it may be the kind of the smell we are going to observe different kinds of the smells from the classroom right to do that activity we required a small thing for example you have an agarbatti is there with you you already know agarbatti is right ask your friend to stand at the room of at one corner of the room with an agarbatti means don't treat it that agarbatti that person should stand at one of the corner can you inhale the smell the answer will be no we can't inhale the smell let the agarbatti after certain time you can smell the agarbatti 
or otherwise dhup stick or otherwise incense stick all the modes are same how this is possible if you observe if this is the incense stick the fumes that is coming from the incense stick will mix with the particles of air and they spread from one place that is one corner to the another corner what does it mean there is a spreading of air molecules from one place to another this is nothing but the process of diffusion in the gases why because here the smoke that is coming from the incense stick is mixes with the air and is moving from one place to another this kind of example we can see even in our houses temples in some different kinds of the areas for example we are going on a road a bad smell is coming how can you inhale that smell or how can you say it is bad smell the smell that is released from that particular place is spreaded from one place to another place means the smell or otherwise aroma aroma means sweet smell whenever you are going on the road somewhere else they are preparing delicious uh, biryani or something we are going to take the smell in a particular manner that is the process of diffusion only why because that the smell particles are mixes with the air molecules and they are spreading from one place to another place so we can say that there is a diffusion in the case of gases we should remember one thing students rate of diffusion of gases is greater than the rate of diffusion of liquids rate of diffusion of liquids is greater than the rate of diffusion of solids that means the process of diffusion we is very very high in the case of gases next in the case of liquids next in the case of solids now let us comes to know what are the different examples and what are the different uses of the diffusion now see now certain gases like oxygen carbon dioxide diffuse into water diffuse means they are mixes with the water to support the aquatic life what is the explanation for this for example whenever there is a fall of rain then oxygen is mixed with the water and is dissolved in the water that oxygen is taken by the aquatic animals like fishes and aquatic plants for that sake only they are going to sustain their life again they will release the carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide also releases into the water one more example we can see we are going to drink aerated cool drinks aerated cool drinks what that aerated cool drink that is nothing but a drink which is mixed with the carbon dioxide whenever you open sprite or thumbs up or something whatever it may be that must it should be aerated so they consists of carbon dioxide the liquid that present inside that bottle is mixes with the carbon dioxide whenever you open with the cap then the carbon dioxide will be eliminated those such kind of the drinks are nothing but aerated cool drinks or aerated water in this example we can understand the carbon dioxide is mixed with the liquid and at the same time oxygen is also mixed with the liquid sometimes if the oxygen percentage in the water is gradually decreasing then what happens to the aquatic life they try to come to the surface of the water if you see a big blue whale oxygen that present in the water is not sufficient to breathe to it for that circle every time the blue whale comes to the surface of air then automatically it is going to take more amount of the oxygen through its mouth for that circle we can see the flips of blue whale in the sea sometimes dolphins also will jump like that only why because oxygen that present in the water is not sufficient into their lungs next come to the second example 
oxygen diffuses into the blood from the lungs we already know the end part of the lungs is called alveoli alveoli is uh, joined with the blood vessels then there is a transport of oxygen from alveoli to the blood we already know that in the process of respiration one comes to the third one carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood to the lungs yeah in the process of respiration only carbon dioxide again enter into the blood come to the fourth one tea bag placed in a cup of hot water a tea bag is there that placed in a cup of hot water we are going to see whenever you went to a railway station they will give you a sachet of tea bag then we are going to put that tea bag in the hot water or otherwise the hot milk of course they will say hot milk only but little amount of the water more amount of the water is there in that though you put the hot bag into that milk then automatically what happen the essence that present in the tea bag is diffuses into the hot milk and mixes with the hot milk instantaneously we are going to prepare the tea or otherwise coffee generally the it is possible along with the tea molecules only why because the particles of the tea molecules are big when compared to the coffee molecules now comes to the fifth one aroma aroma means sweet nature of the food that's what we already said if uh, inside our house or otherwise somebody's house if they are making any delicious food then our mouth will get water that means it becomes watery because of the smell the good smell that is coming from the food for that second that is called aroma generally it will be taken place in the case of while uh, cooking uh, chicken biryani like such kind of the things right then come to the next one bad smell of gas bad smell of the gas for example say inside the kitchen the gas is leaked then automatically a mother is used to scold us they see once go and see that the gas is releasing or something this means the bad smell of the gas from the kitchen diffuses into the air and reaches us so such kind of the examples are there in the case of uh, diffusion now let us try to understand the process of diffusion in the case of gases with an activity from that activity what we are going to learn is rate of diffusion of a gas depends on its molecular weight let us see the activity and then we will come to the conclusion see students to do this activity we have hydrochloric acid hcl bottle is there with us and ammonia solution is there with us ammonia solution is there with us ammonia is nothing but ammonium hydroxide nh4oh right i am going to take a little quantity of hcl in a china dish a little quantity is enough for us then we should be very precautious while taking and again i am going to take some amount of the liquid ammonia in another crucible so here we can say that in one of the liquid what is there hydrochloric acid is there and in another liquid ammonium hydroxide is there we should be very cautious while doing the activity right now i already kept a stand and as well as a test tube is there into that i already fixed that one see with the help of uh, tongs i am going to soak some amount of the cotton into the hydrochloric acid soak some amount of the cotton into the hydrochloric acid after soaking clearly drop it into the test tube i am going to drop that into the test tube yes you can understand you can observe it clearly see that it should be there at the bottom what i did i dropped the cotton plug which is soaked in the hydrochloric acid to the bottom of the test tube now take one more ball of cotton and soak it in ammonia solution we are going to soak that one in the ammonia solution 
right now after soaking it into the ammonium hydroxide solution in a clear manner put this one at the bot at the top end of the now we can observe here some white fumes are formed and again place a rubber cork we can observe inside your white fumes are there if you observe the density of the white fumes of course throughout the beaker throughout the glass tube we can observe your white fumes but more amount of the white fumes are nearer to the hcl you observe here more amount of the dense fumes are there nearer to the hcl those fumes are not there nearer to the cotton plug which is soaked in the ammonium but those more amount of the fumes are there more amount of the white dense fumes are there nearer to the hcl what the reason for this what the chemical reaction is happened in the test tube that i'll explain on the board right now in this activity what we used is we used a glass tube which have opened on both sides in one of the side we soaked a cotton plug in hcl the molecular weight of hydrochloric acid is 36.5 amu whereas well as at the other end we dipped a cotton plug in liquid ammonia solution nh3 liquid ammonia whose molecular weight is 17 then both the ends are closed with rubber caps now what happens the fumes are started from hcl and at the same time some of the fumes are started from liquid ammonia but why we observed the white colored fumes nearer to the cotton plug which is soaked in hcl for that reason is the rate of diffusion of hcl is less when compared to rate of diffusion of ammonia because hcl has a molecular weight of 36.5 the molecular weight of ammonia is 17 because of the less molecular weight ammonia solution means the fumes that is coming from the cotton plug which is soaked in ammonia diffuses rapidly when compared to rate of diffusion of hcl then what happens the fumes of hydrochloric acid hcl which is a gas is mixed with the fumes of liquid ammonia to form ammonium chloride which is a gas and which is there in the form of white fumes from this what we can understand because of highest molecular weight the rate of diffusion of hcl is less when compared to the rate of diffusion of ammonia whose molecular weight is 17 from this what we can conclude is rate of diffusion of a gas depends on its molecular weight not only this you may have bromine generally the bromine is in red color if you throw the bromine into the space we can observe the spreading of bromine gas into the space why because its molecular weight and it has a rapid process of expansion will be there from this activity we proved the rate of diffusion of different gases depends on its molecular weight depending upon this reason only hydrogen gas is used in the hot air balloons why because molecular weight of hydrogen is very very less when compared to the remaining other gases because the molecular weight of hydrogen is only two units and when compared to the carbon dioxide for example take a balloon and blow air into it by using our mouth then what happens is the balloon will goes up no the balloon does not rises up 
the balloon again comes to ground because inside carbon dioxide is there why because you blow air outside that means inside the balloon carbon dioxide is there molecular weight of the carbon dioxide is more that is 44 units because of the more weight that is 44 units it always try to come towards the ground only same kind of the balloon which is filled with hydrogen moves in the upward direction whereas well as the balloon which is filled with carbon dioxide moves in the downward direction because of heavy weights from this video from this activities we can understand the process of diffusion depends on its intermolecular space and as well as molecular weight see rate of diffusion of solids is very very less when compared to rate of diffusion of liquids is less when compared to rate of diffusion of gases because of intermolecular distance intermolecular distance is very very more in the case of gases so for that inter attraction forces are less intermolecular distance is moderate in the case of liquids so inter attraction forces also less where in the case of solids intermolecular distance is very very less so for that inter attraction forces are more because of the highest interaction forces the rate of diffusion is less in the case of solids from this clearly we can understand the concept of diffusion and as well as the experiment to prove the topic of the diffusion thank you